Hi, I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President of JSA, and on behalf of NetSapiens, I'd like to welcome Mr. Joe White. Joe is the Chief Technology Officer for Brightlink. Joe, thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. It's great to see you again. Yeah, you too, Dean, even if, you know, via Zoom. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's good to virtually uh, see you today. Uh, but Joe, let's just go ahead and jump right in. For, our, for the viewers who are uh, watching and don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Brightlink? Sure, sure. So um, that's an easy one. Brightlink is a technology and platform company. Um, we specialize in communications through all channels and mediums. So you know, whether it's voice, messaging, APIs, or applications, you know, we, we do all those with a focus on communications. So you know, at its core, uh, we, we power some of the biggest networks in the world. Um, and more recently, we've been uh, changing some of our product offerings to make the, that same product you know, available to MSPs and ITSPs through uh, APIs and applications. Very good, Joe. So, um, some let's talk about differentiators then. What differentiates Brightlink from other service providers? Sure. I think at, at the at the core, it's technology and customer service. So, you know, we love technology. We embrace technology, and not just our tech, um, but our partners' tech. Uh, that's something that's very unique. So, you know, using our CPaaS platform, um, you can go and get a number in Belgium, and that's not all of our tech. It's actually us reaching out to a partner network through APIs. You know, looking at their Belgian DID inventory and bringing that back to our customer and exposing it to them in real time. So, you know, being fanatical about, about the technology that we have and that we create as well as our partners and, and trying to embrace it as it comes so that we're, you know, trying to be first to market with things like call authentication um, and, and um, uh, let's see, scoring um, phone calls for you know, things like fraud and spam. You know, those things are, are out there and available. We want to make sure that our customers are, are have it first and, and have it um, in a way that's easy for them to uh, to use. And then the, the next is customer service. You know, we're, we're customer obsessed. And we're always looking for ways to help our partners be successful in selling their offering. And a lot of that comes down to our network, right? So uh, the more things that we can find a layer on top of that network and give them some additional services and, you know, wage products to, to get them into uh, their customers and help them be more successful selling. Excellent. Joe, so um, my favorite question of, uh, of the morning right now, um, you were one of the first service providers to introduce stir and shaken protocol. Why don't you, why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, stir shaken has, has been the FCC mandate uh, for, for a while now uh, for service providers to be able to uh, better authenticate phone calls or to actually just be able to authenticate phone calls. You know, so this is something that we've at Brightlink have been very concerned about for a while. And it, the forced or shaken, you know, it's a, a core part of the PSTN. We participate in lots of industry groups that are trying to stomp out robocalling and trace back to the people that are originating those. So sir shaken, when, when the FCC mandate came down, it was extremely important to us. We were the first people to sign up on the 16th of December when you can register for the staging platform. And then one of a handful of, of companies still to be fully certified by the policy administrator I connected. Uh, to be fully implemented. So we're signing customer calls, we're authenticating calls that come in, um, and that's important to us, not just to, to you know, have that kind of check mark and, and be first, uh, but to make sure that our, our network is compliant and something that our customers can rely on. Um, so that really you know, is, is getting back to where you know, people can trust the caller ID that they see um, so that they can you know, restore you know, people picking up the phone again. And then that's a big part of what search shaking is. Excellent. So, um, on uh, kind of on the, on that uh, on that tip, let's talk a little bit more about security. What other uh, you know security measures um, do you have on the network there at Brightly? Yeah, security is a huge part uh, when you're in the industry that we're in, right? Um, so, in addition to the the, the normal types of encryption uh, that you see in, in networks with TLS and SRTP and, and securing communications and data, um, one of the Things that really uh, I would say is most interesting for our NetSapiens partners is um, being able to prevent call fraud. Um, so toll fraud is a is a huge problem in the industry, and it costs companies millions of dollars every single year. Um, what we have that's unique is something that is constantly watching our customers' traffic, and it's creating a fingerprint over a nine-week span. And what it does is it scores every call that comes in against what is the known traffic profile for that customer, and we can either block it 
uh, which we, we which we do often, um, or uh, we can block it with different thresholds. We can send it off to our voice capture platform. So voice capture is basically no different than what you know the capture is when you're logging in. It's verifying that you're a human and not a robot. You know the toll fraud that occurs in um, in voice networks is is generated by an auto dialer or, or some sort of automated platform. So by, by being able to divert those calls that look suspicious to a our voice capture platform, we're able to identify is this a human operation um, and can they answer a question? If they can, then the call will complete. Uh, if they can't, then we now know that it is fraud. We identify it that way and we shut it down. Awesome. <laughs> now that's uh, pretty cool stuff there. But um, let's let's stay here. Actually, let's talk a little bit more about um, what you know the products and services that you offer that specifically benefit um, the Net Sapiens community. Sure. So really, at our core of a lot of our offerings is our CPaaS platform, right? So it's communications platform as a service, and that's where you have one login to to kind of see all of the different elements that make up the Brightlink network. Um, so it's, it's one place to go to search, reserve, and activate uh, phone numbers in over 70 countries. You can initiate port-ins. You can check you know, um, numbers for our customers, see what network they're on. We give you tons of information and resources back to, to make our customer's job a little bit easier when they're out there selling. Um, and then it's also uh, a place for provisioning 911 and CNAM, uh, toll-free numbers, SIP trunking. You know, it's all, all there in one place. So that's a great tool uh, for the NetSapiens community. We're actually introducing something that takes it a step further. Um, we have done a full integration into the NetSapiens platform. So for the customers that use CPaaS and then also have their NetSapiens platform, they will be able to search, reserve, activate numbers. And when they have them in their shopping cart and they're going to activate them, uh, we actually will pull their NetSapiens platform and ask them what customers they want to assign those numbers to. So you know, no, gone are the days of ordering numbers and then having to go put them into your NetSapien switch. We'll actually push that to your NetSapien switch um, right when you do the um, operation in CPaaS. So saves tons of time um, and, and you know, eliminates the, the human error part too. You know, there's no way to forget a number or, or anything like that. Um, th those are all connected. So we'll continue to build on integrations with NetSapiens. You know, it's a big part of our, our user community. Um, so you know, that's, that's something that's important for us. Um, but we also have the, the things like fraud uh, prevention and then additional products like MessageView, where it's a freestanding you know, business communications messaging platform that um, you know, NetSapiens customers can, can sell uh, back to that same customer base that they have. Awesome. So let's talk about, um, you know, the NetSapiens, uh, the, their platform improvements. Um, they, they recently added MMS capabilities, but, you know, as, as, a, uh, as a fully licensed wireless carrier, you know, how, does, how, do, how is Brightlink equipped to, to support um, their, their latest developments? Yeah, so we're excited to see that. You know, uh, as a wireless carrier, we're, we're big into messaging. Uh, so we've got all sorts of things like you know, spam detection, content filtering um, that, that's built into our network and into our messaging, um, but also some unique capabilities. You know, we, we've been uh, fully MMS capable for a few years now. So whether it's, you know, existing long codes that our customers have or it's toll-free numbers, um, you know, that's all ready to go and then available through CPaaS for all of our customers now. Awesome. Uh, Joe, last question, I promise. Um, what's next for, for Brightlink? Uh, network, uh, applications, what's, what's next for you guys? Yeah, well, we're kind of staying on that same you know, tune of trying to be ahead of as much as we can on the forefront. Um, we're, we're doing a lot of integrations. So taking the different promises of Stir Shaken and integrating that into CPaaS. Um, and then taking a step further with reputation scoring and phone calls. So. Um, you'll be able to log in and say, hey, for these numbers, if it doesn't meet a certain criteria, and we'll show you what all the different reputation scoring is, and it comes from all sorts of different sources. Um, you can choose to not send the call. We can prepend the caller ID to let you know that this may be a bad call or put something like spam likely, um, as everyone's familiar with. And then um, in some cases, if you want, we can send it straight to that voice capture product, where if it is a robocall, it's going to have to you know, understand a question and be able to answer to get it to you. So it's a way that we're, we're trying to cut down on a, on a lot of the robocalls and make our customer experience better. Um, we think that if, if they've got something that's a step above some of their competition, that'll help them be more successful. And then also there's uh, our message view product, where we're continuing to innovate 
uh, on that messaging platform. And, and so many of our customers use that as a wedge product because it doesn't matter what their customer has for voice. They can, you can sell it to anybody, no matter who the vendor is. Uh, so that's something that we're, we're always working on new product imp improvements and integrations as well. Awesome. Joe, it is always good to, uh, to see you and talk to you, even if it is virtually. So uh, I hope you're happy and healthy. Yes, yeah, same here. You bet. Thanks, Joe.